I got my first Lego set when I was 11 years old. Some of my earliest memories with Lego bricks was building trucks, planes. Mostly, I always had a passion with cars. Lego bricks was not properly a toy. It was something more realistic, more alive, something special. Hi, my name is Dario Tomrad. I work for Audi as an exterior designer. My name is Julian, and I'm an engineer in the Combine Group at John Deere. My name is Riccardo Parisi. I work in Lamborghini Research and Development Department. Normally, I would build whichever set I got using the instructions, and then after some time, I would take it all apart, mix all the bricks together, and then I would start the creative process of building something completely new, completely different. That was the part which I enjoyed uh, really a lot. Nine out of 10 times when I had Lego bricks in front of me, I ended up building some kind of a spaceship or some kind of aircraft. And my design philosophy was always perfect symmetry. When I would open the box, the first thing I would look for was if there was any new cool piece that I hadn't seen before, I wanted to make sure that there were at least two of those so that I could balance the design of whatever I was building. I remember I built a car with a limited slip differential with the help of two rubber bands. This car had to climb a ramp full of Lego bricks. Very, very slippery. But incredibly, it worked. Having a next level mindset is having that background which comes from playing with Lego bricks as a child. You have to think of all the elements fitting together in a way which is aesthetically appealing. And you see all the functions of the mechanical parts of the suspension, the motor, the, the differentials and mainly just getting lost in, in the creative process and enjoying it. Playing with Lego Technics when I was a kid improved my skills for the patience, the fantasy, the imagination. In generally, a calm attitude to face the technical issue, the problem, and try to find a solution. That will be the fire that lights up your will. Whether you're following the instructions or whether you're just building something on your own, you're gonna get it wrong sometimes. And you know you have to sometimes undo something that you've built. That moment of realizing that and having the courage to say, yeah, I'm gonna take this apart even though I've already spent some time on it because I wanna get it right. That's actually critical to being a good designer, a good engineer, and a good technologist. The advice I would give to kids is to do what you enjoy, what you're really passionate about, and work doesn't feel like work. Be an experimenter. Experiment with everything. Always be asking, what if? What if we could build this better? What if we could design this better? Never give up. Never stop to ask why and try to understand how does it work. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and try, try, try. That, at the end of the day, is the meaning of play. <laughs>